um, what I've got is these beads. Yeah, I saw these beads at Lobby probably about a couple months ago. They were on clearance. And they sort of reminded me of like bright yellow bee, you know, bees and that. So that's what I've got. We've got 20 gauge wire. And we've got some floral. Okay. And all this together is going to go into a bee. So I'm going to use some of these. I don't need, I'm going to make two bees. Okay. Um, we're going to have these for the head. Okay, and then we're going to use one of these for a body. And I'm going to use this one for a body. Okay, so we'll go ahead and make two of them. Just set these aside. Now, these have little openings. I don't know if you can see them. It's got a little opening. It's a bead you where you string it through. Okay, so that's going to be the top. Now we also need then, let me just put this away, we need the 20 gauge wire and we need two one inch pieces for each one, approximately one inch. If it's not that, it's fine. It's just approximate. All right, so we're just gonna cut them. They're really bendable and flexible. So we're gonna be able to make cute antennas with them. All right. So that's what I've got this little skinny chopstick or skewer for. And I'm just going to wrap it around and just make little twists. And that's going to be the antenna. And you can make them whatever shape you want. But I'm just going to do a two for each one. These get put together so quick and easy. This is so fast. All right, and let's do this one yet. All right, so then we're gonna take our beads and we're gonna put them together first. So again, you want that hole that you're gonna be able to put the antenna in up on the top. So, and then we're gonna put the bee on the back, the, bee, the yellow bead on the back. So, and you can line up where you want that hole from those beads. I'll put it to the back on this one, I think. Um, it really doesn't matter that much. But okay, I'll just put a dab of glue and I'm using hot glue just cause it'll seal up quicker and I don't have to hold it all night then. All right, so that's one of them. And I'm just gonna use this to pop, prop it up just so that it dries sort of straight. Okay, then I'm gonna put this one together. We're gonna find that hole. And sometimes it's sort of hard. Okay, it's right here. I just wanna make sure that this all go in there. Actually, that one's a little tight. I'm gonna pull out one more. I, I just want to make sure that I'm going to be able to show you. Okay, well, the same one, but I can see this hole is is a lot better. Okay, so that's going to be the top. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put a little bit of dab of glue on here. And this one I'm going to turn sideways because I think the bees, it would look cute being sideways. So the hole is on each side of the back, but that really doesn't matter. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. Now I'm gonna take this one back again. Again, we're doing two at one time. They're so quick and easy and wait till you see them on the beehive I did too. And that I did on the live DIY last night actually. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'll show you. I, I just gonna pull this glue gun over and I'm gonna stick the wire up in there just to get some glue on it. Poke it in and grab another one right away before it hardens and stick that one in there too. All right, so those are the antenna. We're gonna stick them around there. There you go. Just make them the shape you want. If you want them straight, you can have them straight too. All right, now we're gonna take the other one and do the same thing. Just get, get the glue on the wire just by putting it up into that glue gun. You don't want a lot of glue 
So that's an easy way to do it. That one in, stick the other one in right away so it doesn't start drying. And there you got that one. I'm trying to hold it so you can see. Okay, now the wings, and then we're done. So, so I showed you we've got this floral, and I've got another piece that I took off of it. Um, I'm actually looking for ones that I would like. So these reminded me of wings. See you know how they're sort of put together? To me, they look like wings. So I'm just gonna pop two of them off. I'm gonna find two that I think look cute. Let's do, maybe we'll do a yellow and gold one if we've got one over here. Or this one, and green, okay. So the ones we're going to use. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. I think you could probably get them at other stores too. I'm sure you can. Um, okay, and then if you look where I popped them off, I'm just going to pop off that plastic too. And it comes right off of there. And when you open it, it sort of looks like wings, right? So these are going to be really cute bee wings. Pop that off and take it apart. All right, so let's go back to this one. And let's see, I'm just gonna see which is, we'll do it up this way. Like I said, you can play with the antenna if you don't like them like that, you can do whatever you want. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in the middle. Now you want the wings to be sideways, so you wanna try and get a little glue on there. Aren't those adorable? All right, so that's one of them, and I'll let that dry there. And I'm gonna do the other one, and then I'll show you the beehive that I did last night. And I did these bees too, but it was in the middle of the video. So I thought I, they deserve a video all by themselves. So, all right, so let's go ahead and do this one now. I'm excited to show you the beehive with these. So cute. All right, I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue on there and then turn it sideways. And I just think those are the most adorable little bees, right? So now let's see them on the beehive that I did last night. So I did this during a live on my Facebook page, Crafty Servings, and I did the beehive and then I did the bees. So like I said, I think they deserve the video all by themselves. That's why I'm doing that. But look at, aren't they adorable on there? So if you want to check out this video, though, if you want to see how we did the beehive, check it out. I'm Michelle Crafty Servings, and you'll find it on my Facebook page. And then I just thought, again, I wanted to show you how to do those bees because I had a lot of compliments on them, and I think they're adorable. So I hope you check out my page. If you like, follow my page. Um, pass on this video. Uh, let people see. That helps us all. So have a good day.